Asia Pop 40. All right, ladies and gents, boys and gals, we are here near the end of Lau's uh, Asia tour, and uh, here we have the incredibly talented Lau. It's so good to have you with us. Hello. <laughs> welcome to. Well, I guess it's a little late to say that now, but welcome to Asia. Oh, thank you. It still feels just the same. Thank you. Are you getting acclimated to you know the weather, to the food, to the people? Yeah, I have been. Although Hong Kong's honestly like the. The coldest place that I've been to. Every, everywhere else has been so hot. Well, I mean, you started in India. Yeah. Right? So hot. Like, yeah, India. I mean, Thailand was so hot. So was the uh, Philippines. Yeah. I was sweating constantly. Speaking of the Philippines, I heard that Manila was your first stadium. It's my first show. arena, yeah. How, how was that? So sick. I mean, that was like 6,000 something people. Um, I actually premiered a new song there. It's called Sad Forever. Oh, and we shot yeah. a music video for it at the show really yeah so you you bring a whole team with you when well you we literally <laughs> the night before on the flight me and my manager were sitting there and we had the idea and then he called up like all these people and we got director there and we got a whole team there so yeah, explain what can, the headspace is for I can, this song basically like i wrote it i actually wrote it right before i got onto antidepressants because i was in a really bad place and mm. i was delusional about some stuff in my life and um was super sad and just like was super stuck like I was just mentally stuck and I couldn't I just couldn't really I, I couldn't be productive I, I I had days where I couldn't really like do anything except for be in my bed and be like really obsessing over things in my past and like I was very stuck mm -hmm. and um, I wrote this song and then you know I decided to finally try um, medication because you know depression and OCD and stuff is something that runs in my family yeah. genetically yeah. and people my dad has needed medication my sister needs medication and I, and I realize I can't I'm not above it you know mm -hmm. and it's not I don't have to be ashamed of it and people shouldn't be ashamed of it because it's not it's like if somebody has diabetes and they need insulin it's just the way it is yeah, exactly, or if you have yeah. or if you have heart problems and you need like beta blockers or whatever it is if you're having issues with your organs like sometimes you need help and like and that's okay and i think people shouldn't be ashamed of it you know okay so this new project is called squiggly line how i'm feeling this yes. squiggly line is a big important part of this yes. title it's like the because it's just as much serious and emotional as it is kind of like drugs and the internet is just as serious as it is kind of making fun of itself yeah, yeah. so I, I think i think that's the emotion of me is i'm very I'm very sad in a lot of ways, but I like to also kind of like take the fun out, put some fun into that and mm -hmm, kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, make fun of myself a little bit because it helps me be happy, I guess, Yeah, you know, and not take myself so seriously. And I think also just trying to interface all of this heavy emotion on the internet to me is so like, I don't know. It's just like, so it's very right. you though, because right. <laughs> if you follow Lauv on his Instagram, you kind of know what he's like. But if you want to get to the more quirky side of him, follow Nat Lauv. Not that's Lauv. A whole, that's, that's another thing crazy. entirely. Not Lauv, baby. So, okay. New album coming out <laughs> soon. How I'm feeling. And uh, Lauv, thank you out. so much for taking the interview today. Thank you. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lauv and you're listening to Asia Pop 40. Asia Pop 40. 40.